right, everybody, we have gotten our groceries. It's time to head back home to my wife, but oh my goodness, our Brookhaven city is going through the worst time. I mean, seriously, there's trash everywhere. Businesses are being destroyed. The police aren't even here half the time. Oh my gosh, guys, as you guys can see, everybody is moving out. I even have a tent next to my house, guys. I don't even know who placed that, but all right, guys, time to talk to my wife. I'm just gonna let her know, hi, honey. I got the groceries. And yes, guys, we do live in this trailer. It's not bad. Bad, but I don't know. I'm just gonna let her know right now. Brookhaven is going through it. Again, another horrible day in the city. I mean, guys, you saw out there. It's horrible. I need to make change to the city. Wait, my wife just said she's leaving me. Wait, what? Wait, honey, what, 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 are, you, what are you talking about? Guys, I just came home with groceries. I just went through the trenches of Brookhaven downtown. You keep telling me we are gonna leave this terrible town. No, honey, I... She said, I'm leaving you for better man but this city has so much going it just needs improvements guys like this city could actually be something if someone like me was in charge she said you have no set rules for life and you always follow by everyone bye oh guys my wife just left me and you know what she says i have no set rules for life i'm gonna set the rules for life i'm gonna set the rules for the city because i poke am going to become mayor of this city here we are, everybody. It is now the next day, and I am going to head straight to Town Hall to talk to the mayor. Guys, as you can see, I walk everywhere because the roads are closed all the time. Look at there's horrible construction going on. There's trash near the hospital. But wow, oh wow, of course, there's no trash in the Town Hall. It's because it's rules for them and not others because they like to clean up only their stuff. All right, well, let's go in right now. I think, uh, let's take a look. I think upstairs. Yeah, this is the mayor's office right in here. And it, the crap is that is that the mayor with with my wife she just said mayor kyle you're so handsome my wife is in there getting love talked to by the mayor and he just said haha all right you know what guys now i have a much bigger mission i'm gonna become mayor of brookhaven just to ban my wife from this city she's the one that said that she wants to leave this city she said it was terrible well i guess he's a little busy right now so i'm gonna come back later when my wife is gone all right everybody i am back i just picked up a little bit of trash around town because honestly it's so bad and yes the mayor is alone so i'm gonna go in and apply for a job so let me going right now and let me just talk to him and guys honestly like why is my wife into this guy i swear it's for money just said hello i'm just gonna say hi and my name is poke and i'm here for a job i want to be in the gov business guys you know i want to work part of the government you know climb up the ladder and become the mayor but i can't tell him all right he just said oh so let me just pop a squat right here yeah let me just sit and he said what qualifications do you have and i'm gonna let him know well well i uh, currently work at home and i think i could he just said perfect you're hired you'll be a level one assistant and your first task is of the utmost importance easy enough guys all right we're about to start the social ladder climb up so go pick up my starbrooks order oh that's that's what i have to do as that's what i have to do it the mayor's first request is to go pick up his coffee all right you know what I'll go do it. Anything to become mayor and ban my wife from this town, guys. I mean, oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I just can't believe this trash, dude. Oh my gosh. It's literally even over here, bro. Like, ugh. And of course, they keep this side of the street clean. These are the most expensive businesses, obviously. All righty. Let's go take a look and go pick up a coffee. I'm just going to say pick up for Mayor Kyle. She said, I'll make sure to put some dirt in it. Wait a minute, guys. I think there's some tea on Mayor Kyle I can find out right now. This could help. I'm just gonna say, uh, what do you know about Mayor Kyle? And as I said that, she said, we hate that guy, which honestly, guys, does not surprise me, okay? Like, this city is horrible. Who wouldn't hate this guy? Thank you so much, honestly. Thank you. What do you know about this man? She just said, everyone hates Mayor Kyle. Look around. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. Like, this city is distraught, bro. She just said, all I know is, is everyone I know would vote to replace him. Interesting, guys. She said, period. You know, interesting. All right, I'm just going to say thank you. And honestly, I'm going to get the heck out of here. And I'm going to think of a way to compete against Mayor Kyle. And to start off, I'm going to try to convince Mayor Kyle to change. I'm going to let him know that the people in the city think that he is honestly just i'm gonna let him know that people in the city think he needs to change it up and i think he's gonna hear me absolutely nothing guys all i asked him was what can we do about the trash i'm just gonna let him know people in the community think it is disgusting he said i don't see any trash around here yeah it's because all the trash is everywhere else but here it's like a force field around okay guys literally this whole building has no trash around it and i think it's honestly a request that he puts in himself why can't you clean it up like guys i'm just like this is a genuinely good question it's simple 
the less money we spend on those ungrateful citizens, the more there is for us. Who cares about this little trash in the poor parts of town? Guys, I can't believe he would say something like that. That's... Wow. And he just said, are you ready for your next task? And I'm let him know. Well, actually, I... And he just said, I need you to go pick up my dry cleaning. Actually, I quit. I'm out of here, guys. Because guess what? I'm gonna run to become mayor in instead of working up my way there. Let's go home and think of a plan. Guys, honestly, I... I'll be honest with everybody here. I have not done anything to change, okay? I literally... It's been two plus weeks since I've talked to the mayor of Brookhaven, and this road is still closed. I feel like I'm in a dream. Bottom line is, is I need to think of a plan to get credibility, guys. I just don't know where to start, and... Oh my gosh, guys, I need to talk to these people over here. I'm just gonna let them know. I'm just gonna say, excuse me. You guys are a little close to my home. If you can move over just a little bit. I don't mind, honestly. I understand. The girl just said, let us stay. And guys, I feel terrible. And the guy just said, we'll clean up the area if you let us stay. I'm just gonna say, honestly, that's a good idea. Wait a minute, guys. And no, it's not because I want them to clean up the trash specifically, but if I can actually gather a group of people to clean up the trash around Brookhaven, maybe I can start the chain of difference instead of the mayor. Okay, I have an idea. If both of you help me clean the city, you guys can move into my home. I don't even care at this point. He just said, really? Yes. Very much so, really, guys. Let's start the cleaning process. All right, guys, we are starting the clean up process. This is absolutely crazy. There's so much trash around Brookhaven, but we are cleaning it all up right now, guys, and it's mind-blowing that it got this bad. Like, how? All right, and boom, there we go. This side of the street is pretty much good. There's like one more over here and a little bit more. And guys, take a look. We have officially cleared out this entire street right here. This is insane, everybody. I'm just going to bring them over. I'm going to say over here, guys. Great work. All right. We've officially spread the initiative. So now I'm going to let them know I need y'all to find more people and get them to clean up other sectors. Let's hashtag clean Brookhaven. Clean Brookhaven or we leave Brookhaven. Guys, we've officially started our very first protest. I have a few people out here. I also have people clearing up trash. If you guys can't see, we have cleared up so much trash in Brookhaven. The only thing now left is to onboard the police buildings as well as fix these constructions. Look at everyone saying clean Brookhaven or we leave Brookhaven. Clean Brookhaven or we leave. Brookhaven. Someone said Brookhaven turned to a dumpster. I couldn't agree more. It is a gross dump. All right. While you guys do that, I'm going to go in now and talk to the... Oh, wait, there's a mayor Kyle punch my... Baby, I don't think that's true. We're gonna go talk to the mayor though now. All right, guys, we are walking up and look at, I got the sign and everything and I'm just gonna say, clean Brookhaven. Letting the mayor know right now. And the mayor just said, ah, yes, Poke. You've been getting a lot of buzz around the city. Oh, have I? So why are you making me look bad? All right, you know what? Hey, since you wanna talk like that, okay, I'm just gonna let him know right now. I am not making you look bad. You're making yourself look look bad. And yes, I used the wrong your. I am simply making change. All I'm doing. That's all I'm doing, guys. He said, quite fool. He just said, you know, the re-elections are coming up soon. I would hate for something to happen to you. Did the mayor of Brookhaven just threaten me? Uh, excuse me. Is that a threat? And oh my gosh, guys, look at my protesters are here. Clean Brookhaven. Yeah, clean Brookhaven. Clean Brookhaven. Let's go. He's lucky that that guy almost just witnessed that threat. He just said, no, no, I would never. Well, I'll be entering the election soon, my friend. I will definitely be entering the election soon. And I'm going to be mayor of Brookhaven. I absolutely cannot wait. And then you and my ex-wife will be banned. All right, guys, it is official. I'm signing up right now to become Brookhaven mayor. And boom, I have officially signed up now, guys. And I am going to race against Mayor Kyle. And I can't wait to win. All right, guys, it's been two weeks. And as you guys can see, I have been checking my poll numbers every day. I am catching up to Mayor Kyle. Unfortunately, he is still ahead of me in the race. And... Ugh, what the? Ew, why is it? Oh, wait, there's trash on my roof. Wait, what the? Ew, who put trash up here? And... What the? Wait, what? Ew, 
guys, there's trash all over my home. Who the... And of course, who the heck could this be, guys? It is literally Mayor Kyle. Mayor Kyle. I'm just gonna bring up right now. You see me catching up in the polls. I can't even type. Oh my gosh. You see me... He said, well, well, well. So I'm assuming you did this. I'm assuming all this trash is uh, it's yours, right? I'm just gonna assume it. Well, we had to put all the trash from the town somewhere. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, so now you're cleaning up the town? I'm gonna say you cleaned up the town finally. And you brought it all here? You just said I started my new campaign. It's called hashtag clean up Brookhaven. Dude, you stole my thing. It was literally clean Brookhaven. You just added an up to it. Oh my gosh, guys. Now you're gonna start cleaning because I threatened you by I was cleaning. Guys, this mayor is so full of it. He said, I don't know what you're talking about. I wanna take him down so bad. Guys, he is so annoying, dude. And he's like, anyway, things to do. And he's off, guys. You know what? Fine. If he wants to do that, I can't wait for the live debate we have. Yep, live debate with Jay Boblo. Hello, everybody. My name is Jay Boblo, and welcome to the 2024 annual Brookhaven. Brookhaven Mayor Run. We have on our right Kyle Mayor, the mayor of Brookhaven. And on the left, we have Poke, the new runny. So let's begin the debate. Whoever wants to speak first, let's talk about the trash crisis on Brookhaven. All right, guys, I think it's my moment. I'm gonna type right now. I'm gonna say, well, I, ah, uh, yes, I've started a new campaign called Clean Up Brookhaven. Oh my gosh, guys, he talked right as soon as I was gonna say something. Oh, very nice, very nice, Mayor Kyle. And Poke, how would you solve the trash crisis? Well, Jay, I already did. It was called hashtag Clean Brookhaven. Oh, that's pretty close to uh, Mayor Kyle's Clean Up Brookhaven initiative, don't you think? Well, it is close because because... Oh, and we're out of time on your side. Mayor Kyle, how would you feel about solving the homelessness crisis? And Mayor Kyle said, I promise it will be solved in the next month. And oh, okay. A whole lot of applause on that. That's impossible to do, by the way. No way. Oh, how would you? Well, Jay, I wouldn't take a month. It would maybe take six to 12. I mean, that's there's a lot of... Oh. Oh. oh, that's a lot longer than Mayor Kyle's plan. So let's ask you a personal question then, Poke. What makes a trailer park owner run as mayor? Is this something that you think is possible? Well, uh, well, uh, honestly, yes, anybody could. I mean, who cares where you live, right? Now let's ask Mayor Kyle a very hard question. What did you paint your brand new wall color in your home? We've been dying to know. Guys, what the crap kind of question is that? That is so not fair. And he just said, haha, thank you. It's a bright teal color. Oh, well, seems like we can wrap the debate up here. Mayor Kyle, you are definitely in the lead and may win this one. Poke, good luck in the next four years. Oh my gosh, guys, that went absolutely horrible. They totally destroyed me with those questions. Oh my gosh, Mayor Kyle was so short. He didn't even like move like when he got out of the chair. Well, guys, we'll know soon if I actually won this. Well, everybody, it is time to vote for <laughs> myself. I am running for mayor right now. All right, here we go. And, and right in my name, Polk. Definitely not Mayor Kyle. And we're done. And oh my gosh, wait, guys, this guy said, oh my goodness, you're Polk. I'm going to vote for you. Oh my gosh, I have fans. I have literal fans. Thank you so much. And even someone behind him said, oh dang, is that Polk? Yeah, guys, excuse me. He said, I'm voting for you too. Dude, I actually think I could win this. And with my pleasure to announce the new mayor of Brookhaven in an interesting amount of votes. Um, oh my... It is Poke. Poke is our new mayor. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my gosh, guys. I'm the new Brookhaven mayor. This is the actual best thing. Whoa. What the? Oh my gosh, guys. The old mayor's here. What is this? I'm gonna say sorry, but I won. And is that my ex-wife? It's you. I can't believe that you would come back. Well, you know, guys, you just said, how did you win? Who did you pay off? Give me that thing. Ugh, give me that. Yeah, that's right. I'm the new mayor. Girl's got a lot of hair hair on his chest. And he said, she loved me anyway, so bye. Yep, that doesn't surprise me. Classic textbook. He said, Poke, I'm so happy. Let me make dinner. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me lock my door. No, you are, uh, actually, uh, banned from, from this city. You, you're, you're banned from this city. I, I'm the mayor. Yeah, guys, that's what happened. She left me, and now that I'm mayor, she thinks I'm up big and all this stuff. He said, no, I'm going home. Yeah, I'm Bloxburg. Bye. Kicked. And that's what happens when you become mayor.